Here we are in Akihabara, Tokyo, and I have picked up a used graphics card already, and this is a GTX 760 Ti, which I've never heard of until I went to this one store here called Skumo, and they had it on the shelves. So my curiosity peaked, and I picked this thing up for a little under 40 US dollars. Now, we will be doing a test on this on the channel here to see how this relatively rare card performs in games, but we are gonna go on a used PC parts hunt tour here in Tokyo, Akihabara, where we're gonna go around and check out a few different stores and see what is happening with prices on used PC parts, but also new PC parts, since Tokyo is the center of everything in Japan, pricing included. So strap on your used PC parts hunting capes and let's have a bit of fun in Tokyo. If you're tired of looking for used deals on GPUs and you just want to go out and get something safe, reliable, and fast, then today's video sponsor ASRock has you covered with the Phantom Gaming RX 6750XT, which features a triple X cooling system with RGB bling to stay cool, quiet, and give you that aesthetic, as well as having a performance advantage out of the box to ensure you get the best frames possible. Links in description below to find out more. So this first store that we visited here called Skumo, this is the used section. They've actually made this the used only store and they've got two different stores in Tokyo that sell new parts. So anything used comes here. But while I was in there, I noticed the prices of GPUs were mediocre. And especially if I compare that to last month and the month before that, where I was running around to Dos Pada and also Jam Pada in Chiba, I was getting much better deals in those two stores. However, in terms of this store, I really only found the GTX 760 Ti, which I think is very close to a GTX 670. And that was a pretty decent price. Other prices are still coming down. In fact, the store owner in this Skumo told me there's a lot of cryptocurrency mining cards coming through their store in particular, and they're putting them up for sale. And of course, if there's more supply coming in, that can only mean one thing. So prices are going to keep coming down, I believe on these RTX 3070s, RTX 3060s. But in terms of CPUs, Ryzen CPUs, Intel CPUs, there was nothing special here. And in terms of other GPUs, there was nothing that really stood out either. So let's continue on with our journey. So we just finished up at a place called Junk Paradise and this has two really good deals that I went through. The first being an RTX 3060. Now we picked this up for 3.6 Mon N, but that would be converted to United States dollars around $260. So I feel like we got a really good deal on that 3060. And then they had an i7-5820K for a little under $40 as well. So that was an extremely good deal considering if we maybe can get an AliExpress X99 motherboard. We can put together a six core, 12 threaded DDR4 system with an RTX 3060 for really cheap. And in terms of other deals that they had that were on the fence, they had a GTX 1080 Ti, the Zotac Amp Edition, the last one that we picked up in a previous parts hunt. I'll put the link up here. It was like the exact same model, exact same price. We've already got one of those 1080 Ti's. So I'm not gonna get too greedy, especially when I think graphics cards are still going to come down. Though in terms of CPU prices, they're still all over the place. The easiest example would be an i7-7700K going for over 200 US dollars. And then pretty much comparing that in one photo to the CPU next to it, which is better, has more cores and threads for a lower price. So you've definitely gotta be on the ball when it comes to knowing what you're buying. And in this case, CPUs seem like they've got the craziest variance between prices. Anyway, guys, let's move on now to the next used store and see if we can pick up some more bargains. The next deal that I got here is brand new parts. This is for CPU coolers. Now, whenever I look at CPU coolers, if they're on sale, I always pick up a few of them. And this is exactly what I got here. Cooler Master 412Rs 
for around 13 US dollars. So that makes them really inexpensive. And the fact that they're pretty decent cooler, they're 105 watt TDP coolers, I can use them on budget low end builds instead of going out and paying over $20 for the next best thing, which would be the snowman. So whenever I can save money on a budget build, I will. But speaking of this store, we got these from a place called Buy More. Now, if you're looking to get some really good bargains on select parts, and I do say select parts, then this place does have really good deals going from time to time. In this case, they had CPU coolers going for good prices. They also had the motherboards on the H570s going for around a little under 60 US dollars. But I decided not to pick up a H570 motherboard this time around because I can't find any good deals on 11th or 10th gen CPUs up until this point. And what's the point of buying a motherboard when you can't get the CPU for it at a decent price? And basically I pull up a slide here for you guys that shows that 12th gen's a little bit more expensive, but you're just getting much better value for a 12th gen CPU, even if you factor in paying a little bit more for a motherboard, you're just gonna have such a more desirable gaming PC for the end user if they wanna buy something off you. So until I can find decent prices on whether it's used or new 10th or 12th gen CPUs, I'm going to pass up on good deals on those motherboards. So right behind us is Softmap, and a couple of months ago, I went here and I got some really good deals, especially on a B550 motherboard. I do remember that particular deal. And this time around, they just really didn't have anything that was good enough for the price. I mean, I was going to get a Ryzen 7 1700 for around $66. That was coming in at a pretty decent price, but I just couldn't find any decent motherboards to match it with at even all the other stores so far. And in terms of the used graphics cards, they were actually quite overpriced at this store where it's kind of weird. I mean, I don't know what the staff are thinking, but they've got used graphics cards coming in more expensive than new graphics cards. So I think some of the prices there have to readjust. In terms of motherboards and CPUs, I didn't find anything that was of really any good value and sort of that reached out to me and said, buy it now. But in terms of those CPUs, some of the used Ryzen CPUs do look like they're decent value. But again, I've got to be able to find those used motherboards. And until I do, I think it's worth a pass, especially when my local uh, DOS powder and Jun powder have really good deals on some of the other Ryzen CPUs there too. So I'm not missing out on a whole lot if I miss out on getting some of the stuff here. So we just exited DOS Power, which is a really good place, at least the one in Tokyo here, if you're looking for a pre-built gaming system where I was shocked at some of the prices they had, where there was an RTX 3060 system with a Ryzen 5 3600, 16 gigabytes of RAM, SSD, hard drive, all that jazz going for around 620 US dollars. So if you're looking for a pre-built in Japan, this would definitely be the place to come to and pick up a bargain. If I was in Australia, I'd pick up this PC and also two other systems that they had there and just immediately add like a monitor, a keyboard and mouse and just flip them. And you could just make a quick little profit, tidy profit there. And so they also had an i7 47, 70 or 4790 system, and that was going for around $110, added a graphics card and everything. And then they also had a GTX 1660 Super System going for $400. So the pre-built systems here were easily the best prices I've seen. And I actually also stumbled upon a Galleria because you guys requested that I go take a look at what the prices of new PCs are like. And they're pretty bad actually. Like they're asking around $1,000 for some systems with uh, GTX 1660 Supers in them. So the prices aren't that great for new systems, but in terms of getting those pre-built used systems from DOS Power, they've got some really good value that's even hard to beat if you're putting together the parts on single-end bargains. 
But in terms of picking up individual parts at this store, unfortunately, just like SoftMap, which is just around the corner, I couldn't find any bargains on those single end items. I was just about going to get an X79 Rampage, which in the past I've picked up two of these motherboards in boxes and I've made a tidy profit on just reselling them to collectors. This time around though, when I checked eBay, the prices of those X79 motherboards are going down and they're going down quite quick. So, I mean, if I pick this up for around 110 US dollars, then I don't know if I'll be able to resell it even for maybe $200 because some of those uh, X79 boards have just come crashing down in price, even for collectors. So that's the second store that we haven't picked up a bargain from. But that being said, if the price isn't right, the price isn't right. So let's continue on, see if we can find any other stores here. Of course, any other bargains. And here we are now back at base camp. But before we left Tokyo, I went to two different stores. One of those sold used parts, but they really looked like sort of those banger PCs that I put together for like $100. And they were up marking these PCs quite a bit. So the value on these pre-built that they were selling, they were just not worth it at all. I mean, they're putting together old Dells with uh, Xeons and stuff like that, and then charging like nearly 500 USD for these builds. I mean, I'd put something together like that and sell it for like 200 USD. So there's some places there that are marking up PCs quite a lot. So that place, in my opinion, was just not worth it. But then next to that was a Skumo that sold new parts. And I started to go into the section where they sell the individual parts brand new. And here is where I picked up, again, some more CPU coolers. These are Silverstone AR01s. They're kind of like a tough gaming collaboration with the Zeus. And these kind of look like a snowman, except they've got three thick heat pipes versus four heat pipes on the standard snowman from AliExpress. So whenever I can get these coolers for under $20, they're always a bargain. So we picked up two of those. So in total, I got four CPU coolers. But in terms of the other deals, let's cap what we had here today. We got a RTX 3060, which we got the tax off, and that was the main reason I bought it at that first place. Getting the tax off, you're getting a 10% discount if you've got a foreign passport. But also they had some RTX 3060s at DOS Para, and they were, I think, like $10 cheaper there, but they don't take the tax off, if I remember from the previous parts hunts. Junk Para, on the other hand, Junk Paradise, they will take the tax off for foreigners. So that was the biggest difference. But in terms of the RTX 3060 we picked up, it looks like it's in really good nick and it's a blower style cooler, which I do actually really like on the RTX 3000 series, believe it or not, because the undervolting, the gains you can uh, essentially drop from that is really big to the point where it just makes those blower style coolers very quiet and very effective at any type of PC build. So I'm not worried at all that it's a, I guess some people would call it a cheaper blower style cooler because of what we can do with it. Then we had the GTX 760 Ti. This is more of a novelty purchase. I've just never seen one in the flesh. You guys can let us know in the comment section below. If you've heard of one of these graphics cards or seen it in the flesh, it's just such a cool, weird thing being in tech for so long and actually never seeing one that it's cool to come across one. So look forward to testing that out. Then we had the 5820K, the i7-5820K. This thing is a bargain at its price point of under $40. And the curious thing about this CPU is when I checked it at other stores, it was going for around $75. So I think we picked up a pretty good deal on this CPU. And considering even what the uh, Haswell i7-4790s were going for, they were going for actually a bit more. And they've only got four cores, eight threads, and they support the older DDR3. So very happy with that purchase too. But in terms of tallying up this month's parts hunt, I'll put that up on the screen where we came under 500 USD this month. So it was the smallest parts hunt I have done this year. But that being said, there is one big reason for that. And this big reason has to do with what the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell recently said in his remarks where he talked about the fact that they are going to continue with heavier quantitative tightening 
and they're also going to raise interest rates as necessary. So a lot of people thought that the Central Bank of America, they were just gonna start printing money again and they were gonna go easy on policy again because inflation essentially came down from 9.1% to 8.5%. But anyone deep inside will know that 8.5% inflation, especially core inflation, that's a horrible figure still. You have to get this down much closer to that 2% level because price stability is everything for an economy, especially a smooth functioning economy. So they're pretty much saying that they're committed to doing what it takes now to fight inflation, regardless of all these overpriced homes and regardless of Wall Street and the overpriced stock market. And so what that means is just for everything in general, if money's gonna get tighter, then all these overpriced graphics cards in the past will get even cheaper. And another thing I'm seeing too is when I speak to people at these stores, especially the guy at Skumo, he's just telling me like straight up, I didn't even really ask him, he's just telling me that all these used mining graphics cards are now starting to come into their stores. And I'm like, maybe you shouldn't be telling me that, just an average guy on the street. But that was really good to know that a lot of these crypto cards are starting to flow through now. And so in the stores and also the market itself, starts having a massive oversupply of these GPUs and money's getting tighter, that means only one thing for the prices and they have to come down. So in terms of this month, I'm gonna be calling it the calm before the storm where I just really cherry picked some of the, in my opinion, some of the best deals that were on the shelves this month. But I feel like later on this year, there is going to be some really cheap bargains coming. So that's my personal belief, I'm sticking to that. And we've definitely already seen that trend as the months have gone by where prices just keep coming down. So at least it's one good thing to see that if you're into PC gaming and you've been saving for a while, it's finally becoming a much better time to build a gaming PC and not get ripped off. Anyway guys, with that aside, I hope you enjoyed this month's used PC parts hunt of the month. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us. Also, of course, let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite deal of this month. Not a whole lot to choose from, but I love reading your thoughts and opinions. As always, just like this question of the day here, which comes from i 77 Adjic, and they say, so to get the most bang for buck, should I buy a 30 series now, buy a 30 series after the release of the 40 series, or buy a 40 series once they are released. So basically in relation to this question, we talked about a lot of this in a recent video we did where we uh, responded with RTX is still overpriced. Pretty much go through all of that. I think GPUs are going to keep getting cheaper, but of course, if you can find something like an RTX 3060 for $260, especially off those local deals, that's always gonna give you such a good price performance regardless of what the eBay sales are doing, regardless of what prices on AliExpress and Amazon are doing, a $260 RTX 3060, for example, is always gonna be a good deal in any market. So when it comes to local deals, if you're looking for 30 series, it's always gonna be a good time if you can get it at a really good price. But in terms of the mainstream pricing, I feel like waiting a few months, it's gonna keep coming down. And of course, with that, the variance of local deals will get cheaper, but for getting a 3060 for 260, popping into a gaming PC, which is what I do, that's always gonna be a good thing where you can spin a bit of profit on a flip on a gaming PC. Hope that answers that question for you. And with that aside, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you stayed this far and you're enjoying that tech, yes content, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now, bye.